Okay, Oyen, we started at 7.55. So, expected we finish at 7. i sorry. 6.55 there. So, we'll finish at 7.40. Okay. Good morning, Uyen. How are you today? You're fine. Why? Okay, today. Wait to wait for a while. Okay, so the last time with our speaking, we talk about, we talk on 7.1. Now, we are going to have here the 7.2 speaking class. Okay, now, what have you seen in the picture, Oyen? I see a bus, a party. It's a birthday party. Okay, you can see the lot of kids is... Uh, is in front of the cake. Okay, so you can see the candies. You can see the cupcakes. Okay, and I guess this is nips and a lot of gummy bears. Okay, do you like gummy bears? Do you like gummy bears? Do you like gummy? Oh, have you eaten gummy, Oyen? Not yet? Okay, not yet, teacher. Okay. So now here, look at this one. Tell me, tell about your birthday party. So are going, we are going to talk now about the birthday party. Okay. So have you tried having a birthday party? Can you tell teacher your birthday party? Can you tell me about your birthday party? No? Again, Uyen, I cannot hear you. Again? Oh, where did you... When was your birthday again? July? Okay, so how was your birthday party like? It's like how? It's like how was your birthday party like? Okay, so do you have cake? Ah, do you have cake or yen in your party? Oh, yeah. I cannot hear you, Oyen. Okay. We have here brainstorm. Okay. So, you have here the brain and the storm. Okay. You will have to brainstorm. Now, brainstorm, it happened already past tenses. Okay. We know already this one, right? When it's past tense, it means it happened already. That's past tenses. That's brainstorm. Another. Okay, I will have here. When was your birthday party? Which you want to tell. Okay. 
when was your birthday party which you really want to tell to me? Your birthday party that you really like most. Like when you are six, when you are seven, when you are eight, uh, five, like that. What's the best birthday party? When? Can you tell me about your birthday party that you really like most? And you can say, teacher, that's my best birthday party. In the? I forgot it. Uh, I cannot understand. What is it? Can you write, Uyen? Uyen, can you write it? He just write to teacher can understand. I forgot it. Ah, you forgot it. Okay, you forgot the best party that you had. Okay, so probably, okay, uh, my best, okay, I will tell my best. I will be the one to tell for me because you don't know, you forgot, you forgot your birthday? You don't know your birthday? You don't know when was your birthday? Like your birthday, you don't know? Like when was your birthday? When was your birthday party? Oh, yeah, are you there? Okay, please. Okay, you make your voice louder, Oyen, because this is speaking. You have to talk to teacher because this is speaking class. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not, what's that? It's not actually good that teacher will be the one to talk. You have to talk to me because this is speaking. Okay, so when was your birthday party? You told me you forgot about it. You don't know. So I don't know also where and when. But in the Philippines, if you have birthday party, you can celebrate it. Mostly Filipinos celebrate it in the beach. We go to the beach and we had a party there. We're going to bring lechon. Lechon, okay. A lechon uyen is like a pig, roasted pig. Lechon is a roasted pig, the big one. The roasted pig is lechon. Okay, so we used, okay, most of the tra tradition of the Filipino, we used to prepare lechon. Okay, it's the roasted pig. The pig, put it in the bamboo and you will have to roast it in the fire. That's roasted pig. Okay, so mostly the uh, kids here do have party in the Jollibee like that. Or they can have a party in their house or in the beach and they will have to roast the pig. That's, we call it lechon. It's very delicious. So, how many people were there? Okay, mostly, I don't know in you because you forgot, but mostly here in the Philippines, there are many people attending the party. Like, uh, like relatives, like the family, like the friends and other neighbors, they were going to attend the party. Then, which was the gift you like best? Which was the gift that you like best? Okay. Which was the gift that you like best? Okay. Have you tried someone giving you a gift? I know your mom gave you a gift. What do you think? Or what do you think that what what is that gift? Oh yeah. Okay. 
you forgot it again. Okay, so when I was a kid, I never experienced having a gift from my mom. I never had, uh, I never had the moment that I can receive a gift because we were living in a countryside and people there don't like giving gift because they don't have money. Okay, so, but when here in the now, nowadays, during birthday or Christmas in the Philippines, our student, okay, example like you, our student in the Philippines, they have to give gift. They give gift to the teachers and they will have to hug the teachers, give balloons, like that. So that is during special moment, especially birthday, especially teacher's day and Christmas day. Okay. Now, how about your feeling? If I will ask you, Oya, now, if somebody will give you gift, what will you feel? Oya, if somebody will give you a gift, and you did not expect it, and you like the gift, what would you feel? I feel happy. Of course, you feel happy because that example, your mother, your mother gave you the best doll that you really want. And then your mother surprised you, oh yeah, here is the gift. And when you open the gift, you found out that, oh my God, this is my favorite gift. This is the gift that I really wanted. Okay, that's it. So therefore, you find out that you really wanted that gift. Okay, it's very, very precious to you, the gift. Okay, so most likely, okay, most likely you, uh, you feel very happy and you appreciate your mom for giving that gift. Then, as teacher Ann said, Uyen, don't forget to be thankful. Okay. Always give thanks to people who give you something. Like uh, your mom, your family, or your uncle, your aunt, or your friend give you something. Always say thank you. That's the greatest attitude that a kid should have. Saying thank you. Because thank you, Uyen, is a magic word. Okay, thank you, sorry, uh, what's that? excuse me, you're welcome. Those are magic words. Those words should be learned when you were still young. And you have to tell it to people that you know, even those you, don't, you didn't know, and do something good to you, you have to say, thank you, mom, thank you, like that. Okay, so we are now talking here about the gift now. In the grammar, we are talking about the past tenses of the verb, okay? We will be moving up to past tenses on the grammar time, okay? We've been talking about that. So on grammar, we're going to touch again the simple tenses of the verb. Before, I will give you the progressive tense, that continuous tenses because you are still young, very young to learn that one. Okay, now we have here subject. This is S is the subject here. S is the subject, as you can see. S is the subject, this one. And of course, we are talking about past tenses. Yeah, so therefore, we use was and where. Was, this is for singular, and where, this is for plural. Okay, that's it. Okay, next one here, you have with verb and ed. Okay, like, look at this. She, she was, or she could be, she was, she work. Okay, you could have that one. She was in the play. She was in the playground. She work. Okay. 
Okay, look at this one. Okay, as you can see this one, she, okay, work, this is the past tense. Work, it's a regular, no, sorry, it's regular past tense, worked. And then she, this is was. We use was here because she is only one. She is only one. That's why we have to use was. Okay, Oyen. We are talking here, Oyen, about the past tenses, teacher. It means it's already happened. Okay. And this number two, can you see that one? This number two, this is the subject. The was and where. Okay, again, subject. The work. Or where. Was again for singular and where is plural. Okay, the same thing with here. But teacher, why there is verb and ing. This is verb, Uyen, and you have to add ing. Okay, verb plus ing. Okay, look at this one. This one, okay, I will review. This one, this is the verb plus ed. Okay, like, work, like the word work. Okay, this work, this is the verb. You add only ed because we are in the past tense. Simple past tense, okay? Here, this is number one. This is number two. Okay, in number two, you can see that she was teacher she was okay i will give a sentence she was okay again we will have to use the base form work okay we will use work here this is our base form work sorry this is our verb work okay that's our verb work okay we are talking about work okay she was Okay, again, we use she and was because they are singular. She is singular, only one. That is why we use was. Okay, she was. Okay, what is the verb? Work. She was work plus ing. What's the ing? Ing. Oh, so it becomes she was working. In the hotel. Okay. Look at that. She was working in the hotel. Okay. So look at that one. Okay. Look at this one. She was work. Work. Remember, work is our verb. This is our verb, Uyen. Work is our verb. Okay. She was work. Plus ing, she was working in the hotel. Okay. So this kind of words, Uyen, this kind of verb, verb plus ing, we call it as past continuous tense. This is what we call past continuous tense. You might say, teacher Anne, why it becomes continuous tense? You tell me it's only past tense, okay? It's become continuous tense, Uyen, because of the expression ing. Because of ing, it becomes continuous tense because of that. Okay, do you understand? Okay, I, Uyen, do you understand, teacher? Yes. Okay, very good, my dear. Okay, so we have here. Now we are, we have here like this. Again, we are talking about the past tenses. Okay, this one, the simple past tense. And the second one is the past continuous tense. Again, in the simple past tense, you will only add D or ED in the verb, like work. Played, picked, okay, you add ed, okay. And of course, when you do that, like P, 
picked. Okay, you can see that worked. Okay, you can see that there is an ed being added here. Ed, ed. Okay, can you see that? So you will have to read it not as picked and worked. No, it is pronounced as t. T. So you will say picked, worked. Okay. Can you follow that? So you will not say oyen picked, work it. It's wrong. So you will have to pronounce the ed or the id as t. So you will say picked, worked. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So this one, it's the simple past tense. And this the other one like working, playing, picking those with ing form it is what we call past continuous tense do you understand you understand oyen oyen did you hear me Oh, yeah. Did you? I didn't hear you. Did you understand? Teacher will not repeat this again. I will have to repeat this one more in the grammar. We have to review this over and over again until you can understand it well. Okay? Now, Oyen, can you tell me? Did you understand, teacher? Oh, yeah. Okay, now please try to talk, Oyen. Okay, I will erase it now. Okay, the example. Don't forget that when you say it's not worked or it's not picked, it is picked and worked. You have to pronounce the ed as t. T. Okay, that's it. Next one. Okay, we have here. So when we say we have still here the past perfect tense. Okay, these are three. Teacher is introducing three words. We have here subject, had, plus participle. Okay, what is this teacher? This is the past tense that becomes irregular. It changed the spelling like I will give the subject. Subject, she had slept. Okay, look at that one. So this is the subject, she. You will have the had and slept. Past participle. Okay, so teacher, is it important to have had? Yes, because we are talking here past participle. So when there is... Had plus the verb, it is past participle. Do you understand, Oyan? Do you understand? Yeah. When you had had plus the past participle, okay, like this is when you have had, it's what they call past perfect tense, okay? This is past. Past perfect tense. Okay. That's past perfect tense. Okay. Next, here. So I have example again. They had... Swam the beach. Okay. So this one, look at this Uyen. This is they. This is the subject. Had and swam. Okay. They had and swam. Okay. They, of course, is plural. Had. Had Uyen can be used even it's plural or even it's singular. So you can use had. They 
had swam the beach. They had swam the beach. Okay, swam. This is past tense. This is the past participle of swim. It's swam. Okay. Okay, Oyan, you understand? Okay, don't worry, we will have to review mm. this in our grammar. Okay, always we have to do it. I teacher Anne is asking you to just listen. Just listen to teacher and you can learn lesson. Okay, now look at this one. It was my birthday. It was my birthday. It was my 10th birthday. Okay. It was, so it means you are using here past tense because of the word was. It was my birthday. So this is past tense. It was my birthday. You can use in or at if you are talking place. It was my birthday at the hotel. Okay. So, because it's a place or in the hotel. Okay. On, this is the time. On March 10, 2021. Okay. That's the time. When, how many? Okay. So, when we say how many, how many person attended? There were, okay. There were, sorry, there were 100 persons invited. Okay, can you see that? There were 100 persons invited in the hotel, okay, or at the hotel. Okay, so it was my 10th birthday. It is celebrated in the hotel on March. 10, 2021. Okay. How many? There were 100 persons invited. So many persons go to your party. There were 100 persons invited in your party. That's it. Okay, some birthday activities. Okay, look at this one. You can see in the birthday, look at this one. It's so colorful, right? It's so colorful. So we have balloons here, different balloons. We have here the cakes. We have here some of the things like they are having fun with the clowns and also the gift. We have here the gift. Okay, they are celebrating it with the family, with other people. Okay, so maybe the family and here with the friends and you can receive the gift. So somehow these are the activities in the birthday. There is a balloons, the blowing of cake, there is the party in which the kids enjoy and there is the gift. Okay, there is the gift. Gift is always present during the party it's always there it could never be uh it could never be uh forgotten because some of the uncles some of the friend of your mom will give gift to you okay next one okay there's decoration you have to decorate something the blowing up candles and of course there is someone who sing dance and play during the party and of course you have this is the time that you can receive a gift this is the time that you can receive a gift from someone okay next look at your feelings okay can you see your feelings here okay look at the different mood the different faces Uyan. Number one, it excited. Can you see the face of being excited? 
Oh my God. And you can see here the face of being jealous and proud. Oh, look at sad, safe, sorry, look at the one and worried and angry. And you have ashamed, bullied, okay, happy. You know what the word bullied? You know what the word bullied? You don't know bullied? Oyen, like your classmate will tell you something like, Oh, Oyen is not good. Oyen is not pretty. Wait, wait, wait. Oyen will cry. Oyen will cry. Or like that. That's bully. Bullying. Bullying is not in the Philippines. Bullying is not allowed. Okay. If you keep on bullying, if the teacher will bully the students, like the teacher will say bad words to the students, it's not good. So, and also the classmate will say bad words to the, I mean, bully the classmates. You will be sent to the principal office, to the school he head, and they will have to tell you, you are not doing good. You will be kicked out from school. Bully is not good. Okay, next, happy. Oh, happy? Oh, a glowing face. And we have here, scared. Okay, have you seen the feelings of being scared? And we also have lonely or sad, unsafe, embarrassed. Embarrassed and ashamed, they are just the same. Frustrated, look at this one. Frustrated. Frustrated, it means you did not had the things that you wanted, you frustrate because you did not have that one. Oh, that's so sad, teacher. I want to have that, but I did not get it. Next, surprise. Oh, I have a gift. Oh, that's surprise. Shock. Oh, shock. This one, you will feel shock if you can see bad things happening at around you. Like you can see an accident, you will be shocked. Next is shame. Look at this line. Shame. I feel ashamed. Oh, sorry. I feel ashamed. Like that. Guilty. This, the word guilty, Uyan, example, you do the things, you broke the glasses, and your mom said, Uyan, did you broke the glasses? No, of course not. You will say that one. But you know that it's really you who broke the glasses. You you feel guilty with what you are doing because you're not telling the truth. You feel guilty. Next is depressed. Okay. So when we say the word depressed, you feel very, very sad because somebody you've got a problem or somebody threaten you or somebody don't like you. So you feel depressed. Next bored okay when you feel you are bored i feel bored next disappointed disappointed it means you have expected a like like i need to have the new dolls but when the gift arrive when you opened it it was not a doll it was a toy car. So, of course, you will be disappointed. You will get a little bit mad because you did not. What you expect is not true. It's not dull. It's a toy car. Okay. Another is love. Look at the word love. It means very happy. Happy also because you are love. Hurt. Hurt, it means you will have to hurt someone or you hurt yourself nervous okay look at this nervous it seems that you are frightened you will scared <sighs> i'm nervous because of what i saw the accident it's in the street i'm nervous next is hate okay hate and angry is not a good attitude jealous angry hate they are not a good attitude Hey, next is shy. You will feel shy. I don't want to go there. I feel shy, teacher. Next is confused. Confused, it means you don't know what you are going to do. You are confused. Okay, 
That's the thing. You are confused. Okay, so that's it. Confused of what you really want. Okay, I was confused what I want to do in the future. Okay, would I like to be a nurse? Would I like to be a doctor? Or would I like to be a chef in the future? So that's confusing. Okay, now tell me about your birth. Oh, you told me already that you forgot about this. You cannot tell. Oh, yeah. Teacher Ann is the one talking here. Okay, you cannot tell about your birthday party because you forgot about it. Okay, are you listening to me, Oyen? Okay, why well, you're very sad? You're not showing your face. You're not responding. You're not talking. Last Sunday, you are very lively. You are very happy. But why now? Okay, in speaking part two, okay, you have here the prompt cards. Okay, so we have here the word. Can you see the cards? And you will have to tell me. You will answer what I'm going to ask. Ask and answer the questions using the words given. Okay, so as you can see here, look at the cards, study the cards, and I will ask questions. Okay. You study for a while and later I will ask questions. Okay, now what is the address of this city sports? What is the address of the city sports? What is address? Address, the location. Where it is located, the street, the city, like that. The address is what? The address is... 14 High Street. This is the address, this one, Oyen. 14 High Street. This is the address. Next. What they are going to sell? What they are going to sell? They are going to sell a what? What they are going to sell, Oyen? They're going to sell what? A uh, cheap skates, snowboards, and jackets. Okay. What is their phone number? Okay, 846-730. And are they open on Friday? Yes or no? Are they open on Friday? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And what time are they open? What's the time? It's 9? 9, 9 a.m. And close to 6 p.m. Okay. Close to 6 p.m. Now here, look at the skiing holiday. Where do you think is the holiday? Please tell me the location, the place. In the beautiful blue mountains. Okay. It's in the beautiful blue mountains okay and how much is the cost in going there how much is the cost in going there 800 pounds included the skates and the boots okay when when was it is when will it be? It will be on what time or the month? Holiday. 
Oke. Okay. It is. Okay, when it's 18 to 24 in February. Oh, yeah. It's 18 to 24 in February. That's 18 to 24. February 18 until February 24. And what do you have? Do you have to pay extra for this case and the boots? Do you have to pay for that or no? Will you pay extra for that or no? No, because it is already included in the 800 that you pay in the Blue Mountains. Okay, it's already included, so therefore you will not pay for that. Okay, another one. Okay, what is the website? Let's go to www.holiday.com. Okay. The website, if you are interested in going to the skiing holiday in the Blue Mountain, you will have just go to www.holiday.com. Okay, that's it. Ask and answer questions using the words given. Ask and answer questions using the words given. Okay, this is the thing. Next is the car museum. Okay, look at the car museum. What is the address for the car museum? Address. Road. Okay, it's 26 Station Road. What you can see there in the car museum, what you can see? Okay, you can see a lot of cars from the famous films. And how much is the adult tickets per pound? It is? Adult, adult is six pounds and children is four pounds. Okay, adult is seven pounds and children is six, four pounds. Okay, is it open on Wednesday? Uh, is it yes. open on Wednesday? Yes, because it's every day. It open every day. And the lovely cafe for hot and cold snack. Can we buy food there? Okay, you can buy a food actually. Okay, you can buy a food there. Okay, next. Okay. So this one, Oyen, so we are talking here some of the things that we can have the car museum. We have here the skiing holiday. We have here the city sports. Okay. Okay, now here. Okay, so we have here already. We are done with uh with the first topic. So yesterday we I the last Sunday we talked seven point one. So now it's seven point two. Tomorrow will be another day for our listening. Okay, tomorrow we'll be listening again, and then on Wednesday that would be grammar. Okay, so we'll be having listening tomorrow. Okay, yesterday, yeah, teacher did not able to be with you because teacher got a uh, no electricity in the morning and until in the midnight. Yesterday night, last night, we don't have electricity in the house until we just slept. It's still ran out, no power, no electricity, no electric supply. So that's it. Teacher was not able to have class with you. Okay. So that's the reason. Okay. Now, Oyen, okay. So do you have question about this? No question? You have question to teacher Anne or no?
Do you have question or no? No. Okay. So I will be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow will be. Oh, your lo your hair is too long. Are you still in the countryside? Oh, uh, you're in Hanoi now. In the countryside. You're still in the countryside. Okay. That's for how many days already, right? You will be going back to Hanoi when? You don't know? Wednesday. Wednesday. Ah, on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, you will going back to Hanoi. Because it, because. Oh my God, I know. Okay, so you are going back to Hanoi on Wednesday and you will have to go to back to school. Are you going back to school? Not yet. Yeah. Okay, so for now, teacher will say goodbye and I will be seeing you tomorrow, Oyen girl. Bye-bye, Oyen. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.